It's always a special day when we get to smell a soap that holds a special place in the heart of its artisan. And today, that soap is from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Saturdays and Wednesdays... We are the barber shop duet. Hey, come on in, get comfy. I remember my first adventure into the Phoenix Shaving website. And right. when I got to the sales page for this particular soap, I knew I had to have it. And we're going to share some of that with you. Uh, <laughs> if we read the entire sales page, this would be a 30-minute episode. <laughs> uh, but please go check it out on your own. But there are a few parts that really jumped out to us mm -hmm. about what made this particular soap special, even amongst the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement inventory okay. of amazing soaps. And, you know, I, I did forget to mention something uh, from our Phoenix Care Package right, yes. last week when they sent us this fantastic travel scuttle. It comes with a lovely card which what? constitutes a, a note. note. <laughs> and it so if you get this for somebody for it a gift it comes with a things. lovely little explanation and a thank you card from Fran and Douglas and I didn't notice it because there were a few samples and things right. thrown in. It comes with this particular soap and this is the only way to get this soap. I think it used to be available. It's called Planet Phoenix. Planet Phoenix. So thank you so much for our travel scuttle. And I could not be more excited to really actually couldn't. meet us up. Here we go. <laughs> All of Fran and Douglas's sales pages are awesome, but mm -hmm. this one stands out, and this is what grabbed me. Go okay, ahead. so just to be crystal clear, I love Bay Rum. In bold. In bold. I always have. I read as much as I could about the stuff, wrote many a blog on it, and even made a few how-to tutorials on this little olfactory wonder, which also has many a medicinal benefit, too, I should add. If I was going to create the best, that's all caps, Bay Rum, I was going to need to tap into all that I had learned over the years. I was going to need to approach this challenge differently than others. And so it began. <laughs> In bolt. <laughs> <laughs> My mission, create the best Bay Rum on the planet. Lofty, I know, and possibly a tad dramatic, but I did it. Caps. I kid you not. I actually believe Atomic Age Bay Rum is the last Bay Rum people will ever buy. To test this theory, I picked out a few testers that were, in their own words, Bay Rum haters. Ah. Typically, I would have no use for people like this. I mean, how can anyone hate Bay Rum? It's like summer in a bottle in liquid paradise, Christmas on Pirate Island even. But in this case, I needed them. If I could turn these guys into Bay Rum lovers, I would have succeeded in what I set out to do. Mind you, I chose Bay Rum lovers as well. And damn if I did not make uber believers out of both groups. This soap will make us swear on this show. <laughs> so we have a little bit more to share about the ingredients and the process and what right. makes them special, but we're going to save that for original scent notes because I think Bay Rum's a little different. It doesn't yeah. have like a list of scent notes. Mm -hmm. It's a Bay Rum. But there is a world of discovery as far as how it's made. In fact, there is a little video from right, the Phoenix website. Artisan Accoutrements that take you into a little glimpse of their laboratory. Behind if you check the out the description, you will see a link to that video of Douglas actually making the Bay Rum. But for now, let's unpack. <laughs> Okay, so we had to pre-open this box so we knew what was in it, but we promised we didn't open anything else or smell it. This is our first time seeing this. Yes, here we go. Okay. So, dun dun dun. <laughs> here we go. And just so you know, if you two are poking around on the Phoenix site, there are four or five different variations of the Bay Rum. All there's right. a pineapple Bay Rum. There's a gingerbread man one that just came out of seasonal scent that has some of the Bay Rum in it. Um, but this is the one that they point you to if you just want to try the OG... The Atomic so, oh, Age. the Atomic Age. Bay Bay Rum. Look at that label. That's why I brought a little, a little guy here. Does that kind of look a little bit like him? Oh, it does. That's cool. Wow. Okay. And then you also have... Oh, and yes, I got 
this. This I thought would be cool for Sarah and I to both try. This is a star jelly. Mm -hmm. It's an alcohol formula as well as sort of a bomb sort of but nourishing formula. it's menthol formula. free, and which it's is menthol the other free. part. You mm -hmm. can choose you if can you choose. want menthol or not, but I chose the non-mentholated version to get us started. So oh, kind of a, a post-shave care product we're going to try too. And, yeah. and Phoenix Shaving was also really good at letting us know at the beginning that we should try some of the fragrances in different forms because they will take on slightly different characteristics in different right, products. Right. So... Okay. This uh, has been talked up so <laughs> much, but I have a feeling that no matter what standard I have for it in yeah, my head. Yeah, we don't really have any bay rum so far. This is our first Yeah, the bay only rum. thing that I'm thinking about bay rum is I, I have a couple of uncles and things that would wear oh, a bay right, rum, right, so right. I kind of know a what that's not like. Yeah. But I think this is different. Yes. I'm, I'm kind of excited for you to have a first impression of this because you don't know no, what like, don't know. a bay rum I, is. Mm -mm. And so you just kind of get to experience this. Ooh, should we do it? Yes. Okay, here Let's we go. Let's do it. Okay. Let's take a look at the pour. This is in the CK6 base. It's their vegan base. Oh, wonderful. Boy, I where that is. Okay, here we go. The Me bay first? rum. The bay rum. Okay. What do you think? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It does smell familiar. Like maybe I knew someone it? that wore it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to say too much more. You, you oh, give away. I know, God. but just give it a give it a few little seconds to sink in. Is there like a mental oh. label? You oh, you know what? I I really thought this was gonna come up behind me and like shake me and be really strong. It's it's smooth. It's not. Yeah. It's, it, oh, it's smooth is the word. <laughs> I didn't think you could make a bay rum smooth like this. But there's like this. spice to it. And oh, it's deep. Almost like a, yeah, the spice is in there. Oh, it's so smart. It's Whoa. so smooth smart. Smooth and smart. Those are our yes. words. Yes, wow. Wow. Yep. And you know, <laughs> I, I have to sort of rethink what I think of as bay rum because, yeah, it, it, it used to just have this, like, part of it that would kind of like hit me in the nose first yeah but this doesn't i'd like the, i was i was almost bracing for that mm. and it didn't yeah i don't have all. anything to compare it to but i really get that you know right away oh, this it just washes over you right so do you know what a bay leaf right. smells like mm -hmm. do, you, do you kind of get a little bit of that a little i feel like i'm getting more of like a gingery or a oh, something yes. a different spice that's a little more abrupt than the bay but i smell it for sure does that make sense? Oh, and I, I don't know why, but I, I like my brain shows me like colors and I almost see like your eye colors. And now you have to look at the camera. I have to look at the camera. I'm seeing like beautiful like browns and oranges and chestnuts. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I kind of thought ginger for a second, like something. Yeah. There's just all the beautiful spices underneath. Right. But the kind of the, the more abrupt spices, maybe? Yes, and they can come through. Mm -hmm. Let's immediately put some uh, water yes. with this and see what comes out. All right. Is it my turn? Yes, it is, actually. <laughs> okay. Now, you have sailors in the family. I do. Yes, we are very close to the bay right here. And oh, my, right. my so. grandpa and uncle, and even my dad, when he was younger, they used to go out all the time. So, oh, that warmed it up somehow. It did. Yeah, it really did, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, the warmth of the spices just right, really right. start to come through. Like an like a perfect oh, blend. Yeah. Oh, 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 you know what I love? The bay is at the top and the bay is on the bottom. Ah, and in the middle is I was is just trying to figure world. out. Yeah. And that's so like, why. The yeah. bay gets to you first and the bay says goodbye to you. But everything the in the middle, everything in the middle is so different. Oh, wow. It's just calm and soothing. Yes, it totally warm. That's up. what I love about this. It's relaxing. Yes, it really is. I'm making a mess. Yeah. yeah, this is relaxing. This is after a nice, beautiful day of mm -hmm. not battling the Kraken. <laughs> this has this is this is a beautiful, calm sea and a clear sky. And there's the, it just blends so well. There's nothing oh, that's too much or now. too less. Smell it now. Wow. Oh, isn't that something? It's somehow like the spices wake you up, but they yeah. also warm you up. Right. You know what's cool? It's not like aquatic for me. So I know you no, smell really. some like ocean smells mm -hmm. and things. It's warm. Yes. It's it's in the spicy mm -hmm. warm smells. And again, it doesn't make me 
you know, feel like it's winter outside or anything specifically. No, it just, no. It this just, could be any season. Be, Isn't that yeah. funny? This is not linked to a but season usually or spices weather. spices to me kind of throw me in yeah, that department. They, they put me in a place of, of t a time, a, a season, but this doesn't. <laughs> So the page doesn't exactly list out the scent notes, but there's two things that we just found fascinating. The first thing that I found really cool about this bay rum, if you follow the link in the description to the video of Douglas making it, right. is at the point where you have the opportunity to put water into the formula, he doesn't. He oh. puts a hydrosol of the bay itself. So when he is distilling the right, bay right, right. and the, bay leaves. the right, and there is essential oil and okay. steam coming off, and then it's recondensed, right. there are two things that are produced: the essential oil mm -hmm. and a hydrosol. A bay sort of Watery. water, okay. right, that's a special thing. And that is what is put back into this. Hmm. So just a few things from the website about this bay rum. All right, five years in development, charred oak barrel aged. Right. Oh yeah, there's an actual oak yeah, barrel. Yeah, he has to actually, with fire, <laughs> char the inside of the oak barrel, but he ages this in. I see. All right, scent notes blended to balance and made with West Indian Bay hydrosol. All right, let's see. This is the Atomic Age Bay Rum Star Jelly. Let's well, see here. It's the first few pumps. Yeah, Give her a sec. First, we got to prime the pump a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna get there. Oh, oh. it's white. It is more like a lotiony kind of not, but. Why? Thank you. Let's see. Oh, it's very refreshing. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, A, it feels really nice, but B, you know what I smell? I smell the oak. Oh, interesting. In this. Do you smell the oak? Oh, a little bit more, yes. Yeah, the huh. woodiness. But then if you oh, go back to this, wow. you can kind of see where it came from. Oh, 100%. Wow. It really is two different characters then, of the same soap. And this is sort of an alcohol splash to kind of relieve any irritation, yeah, and it's right. also sort of a nourisher, I think. Uh. So there's one more thing about this bay rum that's special. Okay. There's sort of a stereotypical scent note in the bay rum of cloves. Ah. This does not have cloves at all. And there's an important reason. So this is the second part of the sales page okay. where I went, ooh, that's cool. I want to know more about this. So it says, first thing I needed to do was take the clove out of the recipe. There is absolutely no reason for clove in a bay rum. For one, the stuff will burn the hell out of your skin. Some fellas react worse than others. Two, the West Indian Bay and Clove are cousins from the same family and possess so many similar traits, so much so that many folks assume that they're smelling cloves when they're really just smelling a part of the West Indian Bay leaf profile. Interesting. In researching why clove was so often used, I was brought back to rum making. Mm -hmm. In traditional spiced rum, cloves, as well as many other spices, were and are used. Naturally, when combining bay and rum in early traditional recipes, clove would end up in the blend by default. It was infused in the rum that was used. Rum that was meant to be quaffed and consumed, not splashed, on freshly shaven skin. So, for that, you will find zero clove in Atomic Aged Bay Rum. Wow. You knew how to pronounce quaffed. I really hoped I said that right. I was not quite sure. <laughs> That's really cool. I just love that this is not a big linebacker coming at you that tackles you with bay rum. This is like slowly waking up on a boat. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and it just, just builds, but it doesn't overwhelm. It just kind of builds and warms you up. Oh, it's just so friendly and inviting. Like, that's just what I, I'm shocked by this. I know, I may Bay be rum spoiled normally isn't for, for more Bay Rums to come if I smell yeah. them. Like, this may just blow my skirts right. up too much. Yeah, and, and and not an overwhelming scent intensity. This is not right. a five, no, this no, is no. not a four. This is a three, a yeah, beautiful three. This is maybe a 3.5. Right, it, it, it broke <laughs> it up a little. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I love that too. I love that because it just, it's the exact right amount of this scent. It just, it makes you want to sit and just kind of like <laughs> get a little bit. You know, like if I'm drinking a tea yeah. or a co I just want to like keep letting it yeah. in my nostrils. And much that like way. the people I knew who originally wore the Bay Rum scent, they weren't real like cologne people. That makes sense. They would much rather smell like something from nature that was meant to do the same right, thing. Right. And I think that's what this is. That's for what sure. this holds for me is like, this is not a guy that bought cologne. This is a guy that figured out in nature what smelled the best. Right. And just kind of... Which is funny because I would think right away Bay Rum is more a masculine thing, but 
when I'm smelling that, oh, I don't feel like it has no. to be at all. I feel like this could be used by anybody. This yeah, is no, so I would definitely today. gravitate towards that. Like yeah. this, like almost like a fall leather kind of those spices, yeah. you know, it would just get the yeah. aromatics kind of going. And I, I like that I'm also not really inundated with a lot of the rum scent. It's no. in a much more beautiful balance. It's like a light echo in the back. It doesn't like lead the scent. Right. Oh, they're just beautiful dance partners. There the, you go. The bay yeah. and the rum in this. Oh. It's nice. Do you smell what would be the cloves? Yes, I think that's why my brain kept picking ginger because that's just something yeah, I know. Right, or even but, like nutmeg, maybe. Yeah, kind of something. A thing. But yeah, and I, 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 it's in that general like family for sure. And I, I don't know how to best describe this, but the wood in this, I guess for me, like there's, there's, just the wood of the inside of a ship. Right. It's, it's not sweet. So no, part of this is sweet. Part of the bay part is sweet, but, but when I aged. smell the wood part, it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting both like a sweet and a not sweet when I smell this in in, in equal balance. Do you want to feel like a ride? I think we have to. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one more time to this. Yes, I was actually gonna suggest that. <laughs> I can get a little more on my hands, so I can just smell it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Smell the alcohol as it sort of like dissipates off. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, smell the wood. I smell pencils almost. Do you yeah. smell it? Yes, but it's funny, like the spices are on the outsides now, and that woody kind of yes. smell is in the middle. Like yes. it, it switched. Does that make sense? Yes. Wow. But I could see how this being left on your face and getting whiffs of it would be exactly what you'd want. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. In the subtlety is the depth and the mystery. So, mm -hmm. like, but that's like you know all of the stuff that happens on a ship. <laughs> like, I feel like it's all caught in there somehow. They fit really well together. Oh, let, let's make them be friends on the screen. Okay. Uh, I'm so glad I have both of these because I think one would be sad without the other. So and take one more look. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. Uh, so, oh man, I'm so excited to have this in the cabinet. Yes. I, what kind of mood would I want to be? Like, not adventurous mood. If I ever have a day where I have just conquered my list, your list, and everybody else's list, <laughs> and I just want to like feel a little Rebel bit proud of that. myself <laughs> and then just like sit back and enjoy my evening. Oh, see, this is what I to would me, do. Yeah, to me, it's it's very relaxing and comforting. Right. Like, yeah. I, I, I feel like I would gravitate this if I needed just that little extra hug yeah. and a little extra scent profile to, like, calm me down. Right. Just... It's so, it's like I smell the sailor coming home again. Ooh, that's a good way to put yeah, it. Does that make sense? I like that. Oh. The age of, like, time on the ship, but then coming back to land and just... Oh. The Being dry, wet. the dryness of the wood keeps coming back to me. It's just so That's funny. Like now that you've rub. smelled the star jelly version. <laughs> <laughs> this piano is going to be great to teach at. Uh, yeah. It's going to smell fantastic. Oh, wow. I'm glad this is the first bay rum that I smelled. Uh, like, I, yeah. I mean, I know it's like the atomic version, but I, I'm curious to see what oh, other, you know. This is a know, great jumping off point yeah. if you don't know bay rums yet. Yeah, we'll be excited to try some yeah, others. I'm happy this is my first. I feel like oh, I really yeah, am going to gravitate to it. But I'm curious what other people put in that bay room category. Now reading after all that stuff. So. Right, yeah. So head over to their website at phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com. Or even better, do it by way of the link in the description. It's an affiliate link, which lets them know that we sent you. And it gives us back a small percentage of the sale, which we'll probably spend on soap so we can make more episodes. It's at no cost to you, and we would be grateful. Well, y'all, I've had my shave, and it was an awesome shave. I have shaved with about 20 shaving soaps now, and I'm still really surprised that I can't tell the difference yet between the tallow soaps and this vegan formula. It has a beautiful hug to my face, and it feels safe with the razor. And as a newbie, I don't know if you remember that feeling. But yeah, when you look up at the mirror, after you're done on here, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? After you've done on here, and it's just still beautiful and intact, and there's no little nicks, and that's what I'm going for right now. And I love that this CK6 base really helps me get there.
Welcome to Messages. We are so grateful to be part of this wet shaving community. And the most common question we keep getting from everyone is, what are you doing next? Who else are you covering? So, our so, easiest uh, way to put that to words. This is our piano. <laughs> And these are a few of the artisans that we are going to be covering before Halloween. We are making sure to discover as many artisans as we can right now, but we are loving all of your suggestions because they are leading to amazing yes. people and amazing places. <laughs> so keep letting us know which ones are your favorites and which artisans you'd like to see covered here on the show. You know what I like best about this, I think, is that for somebody to go to the lengths that Douglas has gone to to describe not only this soap, but his process in making it on the right, sales the five page, years, yeah. Right, he really makes it clear how special this is and how different it is for him. And he didn't want to put it out until it was where... Right. You know, so what wanted. I love about that is when you hear a singer talk about their favorite song right. or you hear a chef talk about their favorite mm, dish, yes. there is something special about it. You can and, just tell it's there. Right. Yeah. So hearing Douglas talk about his bay rum is very much a, that similar experience. And I am so happy that much like that favorite dish, right. you can you can really tell this took five years to put together. And we're really grateful that folks take the kind of time and effort right. it takes to make something just like just the this. diligence to keep going back and it figuring it out just makes my self care ritual that much more caring so true don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duet oh you'll smell better just watching this yeah.